Hi, Guideposts. I'm Martin Kine. This is my new book, Bad Dog, A Love Story. It's a story about a bad man, me, and a bad dog, Ola, and how together we train one another and redeem each other. The Bernese Mountain Dog has a reputation, completely unjustified, it turns out, for being very mellow, roly-poly, and uh, a nice therapy type dog. So my wife was thinking she would get a, a very mellow dog to take to nursing homes, perhaps, to do a little work with the elderly. And we acquired Ola, who was a little menace from the very beginning. I used to call her the homunculus. She would run around all the time. She ran under the bed and got wedged under there and started to squeal <laughs> as a puppy. She grew very fast. Anyone that she met, she would jump on immediately. So she's extremely outgoing. Um, which is a slightly unusual for a Bernese Mountain Dog. They're, they're usually a little more aloof, but she's the opposite of aloof. And then she just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And in fact, at one point, my wife is small. She's 95 pounds. The dog was 96 pounds. She's a little overweight. So it was not an even match. I was uh, traveling, as I said, all the time and uh, drinking uh, secretly, not so secretly. <laughs> and my wife uh, w had a lot of trouble with the dog. Uh, the dog, for some reason, um, Maybe it was a dominance issue, I don't know. But the dog started to almost attack her. Like she would nip her a little bit. And so we went to trainers and it was just, it wasn't actually painful, but it was emotionally painful. And um, there was something going on there that wasn't healthy. Uh, it turns out a lot of it had to do with me. I didn't know it, but I was, um, I had bad energy and I wasn't there. And when I was there, I was um, uh, not, I was either hungover or drunk, basically, <laughs> and uh, not, not a good, uh, warm, soothing presence. And the dog, dogs are very intuitive, extremely intuitive. So she was picking up on the turmoil inside me and acting out. And um, my wife, understandably, had it. Uh, I don't blame her. In fact, at the time, I was thinking, you know, what took you so long? I mean, it's, it's, this is a mess. Um, bad dog, bad husband. So she... Um, I, uh, I hit bottom. Now, I didn't actually lose my job. I was going to, probably. Uh, I had some bad performance reviews, uh, but I still had a job. Uh, I had fewer and fewer friends as I spent more and more time with myself, um, and my mood was terrible. Um, I looked terrible. So it, this wasn't a good time for me. It really wasn't. I think that was my bottom, spiritual bottom. You know, you talk about spiritual bankruptcy in the program. We do. One does. And um, that's what I had because I had no hope. I had no hope. I thought things will, are just going to get worse. Uh, and I believe that. I really did. And it wasn't as though I was going to give up. I was just sitting there and waiting for them to get worse. So my wife uh, left. Um, luckily, luckily, uh, that was what it took. And I thought, this is too much to lose. Because I, I love my wife, and I wanted to be a good husband. I didn't like what I was. So I... Um, I started to attend a 12-step meeting. I found one, and for some reason, one day followed another, and I, was, I wasn't drinking. And um, then I started to look at the dog, and I thought, you know, if I, can, if I can get myself together with 12 steps, and I can um, train the dog to the point where she's manageable, uh, like a good pet, uh, then maybe my wife would consider giving us another chance. So that's my goal, and that's the story of Bad Dog, my, my book. So it's me going through my 12 steps, and my dog, um, I decided that we would have a goal for her too. And our goal became the Canine Good Citizen Certification, which is an American Kennel Club award. It has 10 steps, not 12, so she got two fewer. <laughs> she didn't need the spiritual awakening because she'd had it already. <laughs> She's naturally spiritual, but she, she had 10 steps, and, and they really are just basic good manners, being able to sit, stay down, come, um, behave in a crowd, not jump on people, be um, a presentable, well-groomed. And we worked about a year on her through lots of training, um, working every single day on her and on, on me. And, and we worked about a year, and, and she eventually did get her Canaan Good Citizen, which seemed, believe me, from where we started, that was a miracle. Because I did not believe, till we actually got it, I did not believe it was possible. Mm -hmm.